want to start by quoting about three or four things that the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana, speaking through His Lordship, the Chief Justice, uh, put out today. First is that the law is settled. That a party cannot be compelled to adduce evidence under the circumstances that we are discussing. The law is settled on that matter. And you notice that the Supreme Court spent some time to educate all of us who are interested in the legal profession or are following this case on the various cases in times past when the courts have ruled sometimes up to the Supreme Court that that is the position of the law. Nyamiche versus Ansa, Bamo and Labi, Te and another, uh, AMA and Hydroform Estate Society of Lawyers, they went at length to remind all of us that on several occasions the courts have had to lay down this rule and that the law is settled. So if anybody comes with some new arguments as though it is a gray area of the law or that it is possible to compel a party to come and adduce evidence in circumstances like this, the law is settled, that that cannot happen. The second point that the Supreme Court has made, which I think is very important for us, is that a case is won on the strength of the plaintiff's case and not necessarily on the weakness of the defendant's case. A case is won on the strength of the plaintiff's case and not necessarily, even if so, on the weakness of the defendant's case. So this suggestion that the defendant, or in this case the respondent, must mount the witness box to enable the petitioner complete or strengthen or make a case is contrary to what the law and the practice has been for all of these decades. The third point that the Supreme Court has made today, that it has heard all of these arguments about she holds a constitutional office, the EC is a constitutional creature, and therefore there must be accountability. You remember that even for us speaking to you last week, we said if you want accountability, let's all go to Parliament, uh, whether it's Public Accounts Committee or a Parliamentary Inquiry or something. But when you come and you apply to the court under some specific rules, you don't fail to meet that standard and then resort to that general argument. The court has said something about it, and I think we need to take note of it. It says that the fact that she holds a constitutional office and that there's a constitutional responsibility involved does not mean that a different set of rules must be made up. And I think it's very significant that the fact that she holds a constitutional office or that there are constitutional responsibility questions that are being raised does not mean that a different set of rules should be made up. So today, the question that the court invited us so that it will answer whether or not a party can be compelled to adduce evidence, the court has answered it and has given the many instances in which it has arrived at this similar uh, position.